I'm on my Snapchat. Like, I haven't been on Snapchat in God knows how long. Like, I feel like it's been, like, forever. Yeah. And so, a good friend of mine, and I can't believe I'm fucking saying this because, like, I'm just, like, I'm completely, like, I'm befuddled right now. Like, my jaw is on the floor, mm-hmm. even though I'm talking to you. <laughs> but, like, why he's like, <laughs> so why did you stop OnlyFans? Because I was the one that was, that was, that was, like, dropping top dollars for you. And I'm like, Oh. What? <laughs> what? I'm like, I'm uncomfortable right now. And this is one of the main reasons why I stopped doing OnlyFans. Because I don't know who's watching me. I don't know who pay. And the crazy thing is, is that like I wasn't like my OnlyFans was not like your normal OnlyFans. It was like HBO after dark, you know, like. It's like the dry, fake humping shit. Like, you know, like you would never, ever see any private parts or anything like that. Oh, okay. I was going to ask if like it went. Yeah. Like you would never, you would never see that. And actually, I don't know if I should even be saying this, but I'm going to say it anyway. So like, you know, obviously like there were people that were asking for like nudes and shit. Mm -hmm. And so I would just like go on a porn site and find someone that has like the same <laughs> fingers as me and screen record it and then send it. <laughs> wow. That's great. Because I'm just not that kind of a girl, you know, like I'm not about that life. Yeah. So, you know, and he's like, yeah, you said I was like, no, no, fuck I did it. That yeah. is not my for JJ. That is a porn star for JJ, but enjoy that. Yeah. Enjoy it. Cause it wasn't me. He's like, he's like, are you willing to send more videos for the right price? I'm like, absolutely fucking not. Absolutely not. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like, is it it's completely just, deleted? Like, or did you just not use it? I just don't use it. It's there. It's up. But I, I, I had so many followers and I'm like down to like three. I just don't give a shit. Like, it's just there. Uh, it, it, it reminds me, Stephanie, you haven't posted anything. I don't give a fuck. Okay. But I think that's you know, funny that, that you use that. Yeah. I was just like. I like he's like yeah you 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 were sending me all of these spicy videos <laughs> no no, no I wasn't not. hit it more I was not yeah so like and then like one of them was like oh are you sure this is you because you just had nails a couple of days ago and I was like well obviously you ain't staying on top of shit because I already fucking took off my nails. So, yeah, I was like, go back to my Instagram and go check the shit and see if I have nails on. Because I don't. Mm. I got scared. I thought he caught me, but he did it. He did it. He That's felt funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing that shit, mom. The fuck I look like? The fuck? Nope. But yeah, that's what happened. So now I'm just like, I like, oh my gosh. And then like, even baby daddy's cousin, like fucking subscribed. I was like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, what is wrong with you? I think, what is um. Wrong? I don't want to say any names, but I think some friends of the podcast did as well. Yeah. I think they told was, you that, though. Like, they yeah. told you on an episode. Yes, yes, you did. And I was just like, yo, like, it's 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 fucking weird. It's so fucking weird. That's how, like, I, I, I can't do it. Like, I cannot for the life of me. Because, like, everybody was really expecting to see some, like, wild ass shit. And it's just like, no. <laughs> no. But I, you know what? That's stupid of them because at least if they, they should have listened to the podcast. That You know, I never make people like you got to listen to the podcast but if they listen to the podcast i remember you saying in the beginning when you were like originally going to start the seasons ago years ago now you said like it wouldn't be like fully you know it wouldn't yeah. there wouldn't be stuff like that and we joked about that we were like how much yeah. money would it take for you and baby daddy to actually on screen and you said something like thirty five thousand dollars or something <laughs> you gotta pay me big bucks for that because i'm exposing myself yeah so but if they like, listen to that they yeah. would have known <laughs> like hey like she's, she's not, not doing real. That. Yeah. Like I even had one guy like he fu- he fucking cursed me out. He was like, you give only fans a bad name. Why are you? Oh, what a this- sentence. Yeah. He was like, you, you, um, 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 what he said to me? He was like, only fans is, is for a certain kind of content. I didn't pay for this shit. And I was like, but who the fuck told you that I was going to be doing all this extra shit? Yeah. Who told you? Because it wasn't. It, I never said it. I I let everybody know that is not the kind of fucking OnlyFans you're gonna get from me. Like you're not. And I stood on business. It's not. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Have I thought about you know 
doing crazy shit with baby daddy? Of course. But I'm just like, mm, you also, know. Also, that's a stupid thing to get angry about because, like, bro, it's OnlyFans. Like, you're you're subscribing to something online that someone else is doing. Like, it could obviously always be a scam or not be what you want it to be. Like, this isn't this isn't fucking Pornhub. This isn't Brazzers. And also, I have no respect, like for anyone that's like, I'm going to subscribe and waste money on an OnlyFans. Like, bro, just go look at porn. Go. It's free. It's It's free. Why are you subscribing to this shit? Anyway, I have no respect for that. It's like and and you're going to get angry about it. Like, dude, either go watch Pornhub or go to the gym, start working out and get yourself a fucking girlfriend. Like, come on. Yeah, like just, just get yourself crazy. a girlfriend. Crazy. Like, he really got upset at me. He really got upset at me. That's insane. And I'm just like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you feel that way. I'm sorry that I disappointed you. You know, it wasn't my intent. I wouldn't have even said anything. <laughs> I would have just left it blank. Um, get- but we I are... I got to do my pot. We're, we're, um... Oh, there we go. everyone's talking. It's, I don't own it. Yeah. This five, this five seasons, five seasons of shenanigans. I think we're gonna get started because we're uh we're we're doing a short one today, folks. So uh we're gonna do that. We're gonna listen to that intro like we always do in three, two, one. Great morning. Great morning. Great morning. Great morning. And welcome back to another episode of Great Morning. I'm your host, Christian Mermer, Merm's Merm Dog, whatever the fuck you want to call me. And to the top left of my computer screen, we have with us the fact queen, my sister from the East, that Puerto Rican mamacita from Spanish Harlem, Stephanie 3.0. How you doing, today? I fucking survived the earthquake, y'all. Oh, we'll talk about that in a second. I want to introduce But you find, other you find how, what was... Puerto Rican mom said this, so I'm just telling you, like, I'm good. I'm safe, y'all. Oh, okay. Yes, great. of course. We are all I'm safe. great, you know? Um, I think we're being a little more dramatic since we're East Coasters, but uh, yes, we are yeah. all safe. Uh, you know, I was very shook it, but you know. I was um, shook it. Life is good, you know? I um, I don't think I shared this with anybody, but I'm in school. Oh, um, congratulations. Yeah, thanks. And um, so I'm going, I'm studying to be... A medical assistant, but that's not my actual goal. Unfortunately, what I wanted to do consists of like anatomy and physiology and all of that shit. So okay. I needed several classes um in order for me to actually um apply for Eastwick College and take up sonography because that's what I want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm in school. This is now my second month. And um, I don't like my AP teacher. He's a bitch ass motherfucker. All right, all right, hold on. <laughs> yeah, right. You never know. And who listens to this. you know because he's not he's not nice. Like he, yo, moms, like he fucking reported me to fucking student affairs, and I already have my motherfucking email ready to go with Miss Alina Diaz. Uh, stop! And, no, you never like, have to say stop! Stop saying names. The fuck. <laughs> And I don't like that because, like, why are you fucking reporting me for? Like, I didn't even do nothing to you. What did he report you for? Because I have, because I don't, I do it from home. So Landon came up and, you know, I had him, I was holding him and whatever. And he's going over the fucking syllabus and the class rules. So, like, you know, like this, I, I'm not taking you serious right now. Like, this is, this is the syllabus. You're going over class rules, whatever, whatever. And then, um... That was that. That was one incident. Then my mom called me. She's like, I don't know where my keys are, bro. I'm like, ma. Because, you know, I'm, I'm really animated. So I'm here like, ma. Da, ra, ra, ra. But you can't hear me, but you can see me. So I look like a bubble head. And I'm just like, ah, ah, ah. right? So he's like, Miss Rodriguez, are we on the phone? And I'm like, yes, I am. I'm on the phone with my mother. Okay? And he's right. like, well, turn off, turn off your camera. I'm like, okay. So I turned off my camera. Stephanie, and then I, what? I want to give you some advice. Before we introduce someone else that's here. Uh, Because this other person has also uh, done some time at school as well. And you realize quickly 
you can't there's certain people in life you, you shouldn't fuck with unless they really deserve it even if you were in the right which i believe you were i understand your mom called you as emergency you're dealing with your son but professors have like complete control of their classrooms and you just you don't want to fuck like don't even if you're not trying to like don't annoy the person that's handling your grades ever like that's just it's just it's going to be easier in the long run like school is for you know however long it takes you but once it's done it's done and then it's fine and then it's over i know that sucks because i hate dealing with annoying people myself but like we all do it you don't think there's times i'm sitting in class and like someone's talking and I'm just I want to look at them straight in the face and be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> or people are talking like when it's time to leave and they ask the professor a question. So now everyone's going to stay for an extra five minutes because they couldn't have waited until the end of the day to just email the professor. There's plenty of shit. I want to be like, I, I can hate everyone. So you just just trust me on this one. Even if you are always in the right, which I believe, you know, you're Stephanie. You never do anything wrong. Just. Just get get through it so you can get those grades. I, no, and that's and that's the shit. Like I'm actually like, believe it or not, but like I have a like my my shit is at fucking like I'm at ninety percent. Like I I have good fucking grades, and and I, and I'm just like okay. So that was just hold on. That was just one incident. Then my my mom has another dog. She has the small black pit bull, and then we have Tater the mastiff, and so. Miley is just she's 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 just an out of control freaking dog, right? And so like she can't see other dogs from the window because she be wilding the fuck out. And I thought she was fighting with Tater, so I'm like, "Hey, hey, what's going on?" So I'm telling her to relax, and the bitch came and tried to lunge at me, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh!" And then Landon got too close to her, and then she tried to think Landon too. So I was like, "Oh hell no!" So now I'm nervous, and then I call my mom like, "Yo, yo." bitch like try to lunch at me son like what the fuck? and i'm walking back and forth and you can hear it in my voice that i'm like i'm i'm shook it right now because this fucking bitch try to you know yeah and he's like miss rodriguez no, no 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 he didn't even say that he goes we're not supposed to be pacing back and forth we're supposed to be sitting down and i'm like you got to remember, you know, if you got to do that, let me give you another piece of advice. Turn off your fucking camera for a second. Okay, just, but that, and if he, see, but, if, if he says see, anything, you'd be like, oh, my camera fell. I'm trying to fix it right now. So no, but this is my problem, though. The motherfucker came and said, you got to keep your camera on. All right. So I'm following your rules. You yeah, said, I know. Your camera's on. So I'm keeping the camera on. And so that was that. So then he sends me a personal message and he's like, hey, Stephanie, you know, um, you can't have your kid in front of the camera. Um, I'm going to need you to reference back to the student handbook. So what does Stephanie do? Stephanie referenced back to the student handbook. And lo and behold, I did not find anything that said that your kid can't be in front of the camera. So I, I sent him an email and I'm like, I went over the student handbook and I didn't see anything that it said that my kid couldn't be in front of the camera. But what I did see was where it did say that children are not allowed on campus during clinicals, which is obviously obvious like duh and so the motherfucker came in he he forwarded my thing to student affairs and she's like there seems to be some type of confusion and i'm like no there is no confusion uh the student handbook said that kids aren't allowed on campus so you know and she's like i understand um and the thing is that in, in the previous email that I sent to my teacher, I explained to him, like, yo, this this is what happened. I'm not a problematic student. I passed blind colors um in my in my last class. Like, that's just not the type of student that I am. You know, I, I look forward to, you know, um to our our AP class, so on and so forth. Like I was very cordial. But then you ruffled my feathers when you sent it to motherfucking student affairs. So now I'm just like, now I got to put my fucking, you know, my Puerto Rican mama seat the fucking hoop earrings and I got to put my edges up. <laughs> no. and I got to be like, yo, son, like, what's up? Stephanie, I'm telling you, it's it's not the battle. It's you'll win the war in the long run, but it's not that battle is an unwinnable one. These professors are all tenured. Working. Yeah, they're all tenured. They can't get in trouble. They can run their classes however they want. I had a professor like you're supposed to use like the canvas system on campus. And I had a professor that was just like, I don't want to do that. Everyone send their assignments in an email message. And I was like, all right, fine. And it's just like, they kind of can't do that because they have a system in place, but it's the professor. And so it's like, they can't, 
they can't like get the professor in trouble unless it's something fucking nuts. Like they are like sexually harassing someone or they're hurting someone. Like they can't get in trouble. So like I'm telling you, you gotta. Unfortunately, you just gotta take it. You gotta take it and you gotta roll with it. And like I said, the best excuse would be to turn off your camera if like anything like that happens, and just say like. If he asks you, like, Stephanie, why is your camera not on? Say, like, oh, my, my camera fell. I'm trying to set it back up right now. Just say something like that. But trust me, it'll be better in the long run. You always got to deal with some bullshit. It's just how it is. Um, but anyway, I am sorry. Yeah. We're going through some troubles with that. Um, and we'll talk about another thing that happened with us very quickly. I want to say before I introduce someone else here real quick that this will be a uh, rather short episode of the podcast. And the reason this will be short is, uh, you know, some of us have some things we have to do actually in the middle of this. And, um, you know, it's sorry. It's just things that couldn't be pushed around. And also the last two episodes we've done have actually been longer than our normal hour time. So, you know, we're it's fine. You know, we're going to do a half hour episode this time. Last time we did an hour and a half, so you know that's it, it, it's okay. We're making we're compensating for the time we've 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 missed doing some stuff. So, uh, if you're upset about that, please email me. And if you're Bruce Valansky, please email me about it. Please, we want to hear back from you soon. Um, anyway, to the bottom of my computer screen, we have with us a man who, without him, none of this would have happened. Our king, our captain, O'Shea Ivy. How the hell are you doing? Hey, great morning. I uh, I slept with my son last night, okay. all night, and for the first time. Okay. And he coughed in my face. <laughs> he beat me, slapped me, punched me, kicked me. Yeah. He he laid. I, I didn't know that you could lay up in somebody's neck. You know, like I had somebody lay on my shoulder before, on my chest. No, maybe even almost like up in your neck. That's a new one. And um, just be very careful when you're out here hitting things raw. (laughs) It's serious, man. It's not a joke. Um, Also, speaking of, you know, she was talking about doctors and whatever have you. It made me think about sex changes. Because oh yesterday, no. <laughs> no. I was riding the bus uh. and I saw this very tall, big foot um, person in a wig and they just were not happy. They weren't smiling. They just looked very <laughs> angry. <laughs> I'm like, if you're going to do all of that, the least you could do is smile. Right. <laughs> I oh Shay, you can't you can't tell people to smile. That's offensive now. Just just be a little pleasant, you know. Like we in public, we are. Um, no, you know what are... happened. All yeah. right, let's be careful. <laughs> you know what happened? Uh, what, Stephanie? Are you just gonna laugh? <laughs> say it, say it, please. <laughs> be say careful, it. though. <laughs> okay. Please say Proceed it. Proceed with caution. What happened was was that. The person was still in agonizing pain because they had just lubricated themselves to keep it open. So they was, uh, you know, they weren't happy. It's painful to keep a hmm. a wound open. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it hurts. Oh, Especially when it's not God. lubricated. Well, uh, yeah. I, I guess I can. Yeah, I, 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 I'll go with that one. Yeah, you know, you probably have scabs in there and that's why you need the lubricant. Oh, so, wow. You got to keep it open. It's like a piercing. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. It's like like that. a piercing. Yeah. All that's right. what, that, that, that's, but, but he's okay, though. I'm going to make right. an executive decision right. to move along with this now right. because we only have a, we have a short amount of time. So I want to talk about, uh, if we have time, two, two things specifically I want to talk about real quick. We'll do this real quick, Stephanie. Okay. Because I know we want to talk about something else. And that way, O'Shea is part of the conversation, too, because I don't want to exclude him because I know this kind of just in- includes us. But uh, O'Shea, or, uh, Stephanie and I, since we both live uh, in New Jersey, in the New Jersey area, we experienced that earthquake that hit the other day, that uh, that 4.8. Mm-hmm. And um, I'll let Stephanie. Well, Stephanie, you said you were in the car when I texted you about it. Yeah, I was. So in you didn't the- feel it, right? No, I didn't feel it. Um, but while I was in class, right, my professor said, "What the fuck was that?" 
And I'm like, oh, you just finished saying that we're not supposed to be cursing. And here you are cursing. But anyway, I'm just minding my business. And he was like, it's an earthquake. And then everybody is like, oh, my God, like we're shaking. And I'm here stuck in fucking Astoria, Queens, following my grandma because she don't know where the fuck she's going. And I'm trying to get my car inspected. Mm-hmm. So, but over here at home, my mom, she has she has the ring camera. So we have we have a camera inside the house. And all you see is my brother coming down the stairs like, oh, shit, Stephanie, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and, and, and I'm like, what the fuck are you going, bro? Like, you're not supposed to go outside. You're supposed to go under, like, a fucking beam or, like, under the table, something like that. And I'm just like, what are you doing, bro? Like, you're going to kill yourself out there. And That's so he- funny. And he was like, how do you know that? I said, because this is not my second earthquake. The first earthquake was when I was living in California. And it wasn't like your... It was more of the roller coaster one. So motherfuckers was nauseous. So this one, I was just like, oh, wow. But when I actually came back home, I experienced that after shock, which was I, crazy. I, like, I didn't feel the aftershock. Um, the, so what happened to me, I was in the bathroom. I hate to get personal here, but, you know, we've been doing this for six seasons, so I feel very, uh, you know, close to the listeners. So I don't mind saying this, but I was in the you bathroom. Exposed? I was in the bathroom. I just finished getting done, washed my hands. I walked out of the bathroom. I shut the light off in the bathroom and then the house started shaking. So you ever have I know this happens to everyone, so no one deny it. But you ever have just for those brief, like just a second thoughts like immediately after something occurs that are the stupidest thoughts ever and then immediately after like a second after that you come back to like rational thought yeah so the first second the house started shaking i thought the toilet was about to explode <laughs> that's oh. that's the first second thought i had and then second two of the earthquake that's when i was like no wait, this is an earthquake. The house is shit. There's no way I'm making the toilet explode. But what's funnier to think about? Nothing broke in my house, by the way. The house did shit. It was like ten seconds straight. It was pretty crazy. Um, what is crazy to think about though? If that earthquake had just happened three or four minutes before it actually happened, that would have been the single craziest bathroom experience of my entire life. <laughs> I would have been literally in the middle of taking a shit and then I start shaking around. It would have been incredible. I don't even know what that I, that was, I don't even I know how I would have handled myself. I would have shit on myself again. <laughs> it's so funny to think about. But yes, we are all okay. We did um experience um the earthquake. Um O'Shea, have you ever because you've been in California for a lot of your life? Um And I've only experienced them, like, a couple of times in Cali. And they were small. Like, it was nothing huge. But did you ever have, like, possibly an interesting earthquake tale you would like to say? I don't want you leaving, feeling uh, left out of this conversation. No, I don't. I don't remember uh, experiencing an earthquake in California. Uh, Like, actually, the earthquake I do remember was in Virginia. I was about, like, 13 years old. Oh, really? In Virginia? Yeah. And it, that was, I don't, it was weird because I was, you know, like you say, you just stand in there and then start shaking. Like, is this it? You know, like, <laughs> is this, this it? This, this, you know, because everybody's seen that movie 2012, right? Yep. Yes. And I'm like, oh, this, this is it right here. This is what my mom been talking about. He's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming back to get us. <laughs> you Repent. stare into the abyss long enough, the abyss stares. No, sit, look, because I just watched. My uh, my son's mom put on The Devil's Advocate. She was like, oh, this is a good movie. You should watch this. And it was Al Pacino and uh, Keanu Reeves. Oh, yeah. You know, I've actually never seen that. I know what you, it is, but I've never seen it. Bro, that movie is it's, it's so good. And at the same time, if you're any kind of religious, it's like it'll make you a Bible thumper. It's, <laughs> yeah. It's this have you ever have y'all ever seen Spawn with Michael J. White? Yes, I have. That was a while ago. Yes, it's I almost worse that. than that movie. <laughs> Telling you that shit gave me anxiety. I was like, "We're out here with demons. We're out here with demons." 
you know, it's a crazy it's serious. All that biblical stuff, there's a reason it, even if you're not religious, it uh it always like hits home with people because it it's so grand that like any of the if you want to call it mythology or faith stories, it's just to think that any of that could happen or be like with us in real life is just I don't know, it's crazy. And it's interesting. That's why they put in a lot of movies because it's easy to discuss and make your own versions of it. That's been happening since Milton's uh Paradise Lost. But uh listen, since we're getting close on time here, I know you can't believe it. It's crazy uh, when we're doing a quick episode, it's like already, oh, even when we're doing an hour, we're like, wow, it's already over. So I'm going to read. Did anyone see the actual court documents for Diddy yet? No, I don't. I don't go that hard. This is a long fucking document. There are, I think I I read it last night. There are like 335 pieces to it, which is insane going over like the entirety of the story. But I'm going to read every cause of action real quick and we'll go through it. So the first cause of action against uh, against Sean Combs, sorry, I almost just said Diddy, against Sean Combs and a bunch of other people as well. His son's in this sometimes, the record company, Motown Records, someone named Christina Corum. Anyway, the first cause of action is conduct and participate in a RICO enterprise through a pattern of racketeering activity violation of racketeer influenced and corrupt organization act codified at 18. Yeah, right, that's, that's the, the go-to. That's the yeah. That's the right. Once they get you with a Rico, but why a Rico? You know, this is gonna. I. That's the easiest thing to. That's the easiest thing to start with, I think, because it's just like I know you're doing something. Yeah, that's all this is. Engaged in and the activities of which affected interstate and foreign commerce is comprised of an association, in fact, of persons including each defendant and other unnamed co-conspirators. It's always money. Money is always the most important. And there's a lot to this. There's like a bunch of articles that go under. I'm not going to read them right now. We don't have time. We can maybe do this in the next episode. Um, and it's oh, it goes like this too. defendants uh, committed multiple acts of mail fraud and defendants committed multiple acts of wire fraud. So it was like wire and mail transfer of money. Um, OK, so the second cause of action, sexual assault and sexual harassment. And that's just against Sean Combs. No one else. Are you talking to me, Stephanie? No. Okay. Third cause of action. California's bystander negligent infliction of emotional distress. Oh, my God. I've so never gross. heard of that. That's crazy. That's against Sean Combs and the defendant, Justin Combs, which is, is that his son? No, Sean is his son. You know what that, you know what that, that crime is? That's, that's like, that's like shitting on somebody in public and they're like i'm offended this nigga is a fucking balling ass nigga i'll read you part of what it is um one it is closely related to the injury victim two is present at the scene of the injury producing event at the time it occurs and is then aware that it is causing injury to the victims three as a result suffers serious emotional distress a reaction beyond that which would be anticipated in a disinterested witness and which is not an abnormal response to the circumstances. So it's really just watching a crime occur. That's mm -hmm. the third cause. The fourth cause of action is sexual assault um, against Jane Doe one, who is apparently young Miami's cousin. Okay. I oh, Rachel, please. What? Yeah. Young Miami's being sued in this too. As she should, because you know what? She had a, um, a sweet delete. Whatever you call that shit, sweet and delete. She came and said, bitch, please, because if I wanted you to eat my cr -cr 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 -cr, I would have had you on your knees. Mm? And I'm like, Carisha, please. Like, what are you he doing? Was, Carisha. He was pissing on her and everything. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> she, this is... yeah because she said she liked them fucking golden showers. She was like, rain on me. You know, there's a lot more to go over. We should definitely we should go over this in more detail on another episode where we have time, um, because I'm sure it'll be funny to like listen to like everyone's like interpretations of what this is. In fact, I think the next episode we do without a guest, I we I should bring it up on the computer and just read through the whole thing because it is fucking insane. I I wish everyone would read it. I'm not, again, this is Great Morning. You know, this is the United States of America. So everyone is innocent until proven guilty. I believe that. I should not say that anyone is guilty before being proven innocent. That is not the way we conduct things. So 
not you saying have anything yet. Cameras in your crib. Yes, the the but the evidence is substantial. I will say that. Anyway, we will um we will discuss that more. But I'm I'm sorry. Unfortunately, it's actually that sad, 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 sad time already. Stephanie, my friend, you got any last minute plugs for listeners? No, nah, I'm just eating bacon right now with some type of like um chive aioli. Oh, okay. So cool. shout out to um my mama for making extra crispy ass bacon. Um and um shout next out time to- you should spray some garlic up there. Or you know what? It's that uh, I don't have any mojitos. So, because usually I dip my mojito and my bacon together, you know what I'm saying? It's not good. But anyway, I don't have shit for y'all today. I, I, I haven't had shit for a while now. But I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry I'm chewing and talking at the same time, but you know that's what you call multitasking. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> <fuck up>. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Stop thank up. you. Thank you, Stephanie. O'Shea, you got any last minute plugs for listeners? You know, I, I just. <laughs> I know I just really want everyone to be safe out here in the world. Yeah. And, you know, just try to say a prayer once a month and mm-hmm. uh, invest in some condoms. It's a very important. Uh, and be nice to your kids. You know, you don't always have to just sling them around and beat them. You know, they're, they're actually retarded up until a certain age. So just I love that. Okay. All right, I agree. Always wisdom coming from O'Shea. I like that. And uh, of course, my last minute plugs are follow Great Morning underscore the podcast on Instagram. You can follow Great Morning underscore the podcast on TikTok. You can follow uh, You Love Steph. You can follow Topaz Kin. You can follow DJ Chucky. You can follow O'Shea.iv. The dot is a punctuation mark, not a written out word. You can follow Trip God Jimmy. That is T R Y P G O D J I M I. And remember to give us a five star rating and give us a comment on any of the podcast platforms you listen to us on. But anyway, guys, I'm sorry that was so quick, but we have other engagements, but we're happy we had a little bit of time to talk to you this week. Um, But that was our episode. Great morning. Great motherfucking morning. Great morning. Great morning. Great morning. Great morning. Great morning.